Explosive eruption of Krakatoa volcano is a cause for worry because the Anna Krakatoa uh, is erupting continuously for the last two weeks, as you can see here. During the daylight, this is what we see, a kind of orange smoke. And during the night, you can see the light coming out of that uh, almost flattened area. This uh, mountain was flattened. It lost its uh, peak in the 2018 explosion. And since then, what we will see is uh, in the nights and the day is a relatively small um, volcano. The eruption in 2018 was this. This is the famous one that everybody sees. And uh, you, you are also aware of this if you are interested in the volcanology. But the volcano since then has changed. This was not the biggest, of course, Krakatoa in the 19th century erupted, huge. Comparable something to what we had in the Honga Tonga, in the Pacific Ocean. It lost the whole island. You see three remnants, those green parts of it. Honga Tonga created the same amount of the explosion. Barometers recorded the air pressure. Bigger than that was the Tambura volcano. Tambura is a Persian, Middle Persian word, meaning the drum. This volcano created the biggest eruption we know in the recent history. But the Krakatoa in 2018 lost this summit, created a tsunami, and uh, it can't do it again. That's, that's what is risky about this volcano, that it has unpredictable behavior in the sense that it is in, in the water. The island that it was hosting it is now disappeared, and a new volcano, a volcanic dome is forming there. This is a continuous eruption from the ring of fire of the Indo-Pacific Oceans. And this is a cause for concern. When Krakatoa erupts, we have to listen.